Hey everyone, thank you for joining me on this lesson where we are going to explore the differences between similar and congruent. So let's start off with the question, what does it mean when two things are similar? So let's start out by looking at some pairs of everyday items. We could probably describe each of these pairs as being similar in some way. It could be based on shape, color, species, function, or many other ways of describing these things. But when it comes to geometry and looking at mathematical figures, our definition of similar is much more specific. So let's go ahead and explore that further by looking at the pair of shoes. Notice that despite being different colors, both images have the same shape. And this is still true even when we change the size by making one larger or smaller. This is also still true when we change the orientation by rotating them in one direction or another. So now as we discuss two figures being similar, we are going to focus on whether or not they have the same shape. So here's another example of two similar figures. The two ghosts are different sizes, but they have the same shape. <laughs> Even if one is facing a different direction than the other, they still have the same shape, therefore they are still similar. Now when we say the same shape, we have to be specific in that the two figures are proportional to each other. And we can illustrate this by overlapping the two. Now from here we can clearly see that the figures are similar, but since they are not the identical same size, we can also conclude that they are not congruent. So now let's go ahead and explore why. Now moving forward, let's keep the following exploration questions in mind. How can I be sure that two figures are similar? What is the difference between similar and congruent? Can a figure be both similar and congruent at the same time? And when is that cute ghost going to show up again? <laughs> So now let's go ahead and extend our thinking. We have two figures and we want to describe whether or not they are similar and or congruent to each other. Starting with similarity, we can see that these are both regular pentagons. So since they are the same shape, we can conclude that yes, they are similar to each other. And if we can visualize overlapping the two figures, it's easy to see that taking the smaller pentagon and making it larger would make it identical to the larger purple pentagon. Therefore, they are proportional to each other. We can conclude here that the figures are similar because they have the same shape. However, we can see that these figures, while being similar, clearly are not the same size. So we can also conclude that the figures are not congruent because they are not the same size. And we can add that both similar and congruent figures have the same shape, but congruent figures also have the same size. So let's quickly check out a few more examples. Look at the two figures shown here. In terms of them being similar, we can see that they are the same shape and that they are proportional to each other. So we know that these two figures are similar. However, it is very easy to see that they are not the same size, so we can also conclude that they are not congruent. Let's look at two more figures. To see whether or not they are similar, we have to change the orientation so that they're both facing in the same direction, which helps us to see that yes, they are the same shape. They are both regular hexagons. We can also see by overlapping the two figures that they are identical in size. So this pair of figures is both similar and congruent, which leads us to the conclusion that all congruent figures are similar, but not vice versa meaning that not all similar figures are congruent. And there is, of course, the possibility of a situation where two figures are neither similar nor congruent to each other. Can you imagine what that might look like? 
So now you should have a better understanding of the concepts of similar and congruent figures. So keep these in mind as you continue to explore these properties and get into some more advanced problems. So thank you again for checking us out and I'll see you next time. Ooh. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video. We could really use your support. And also don't forget to sign up for our weekly newsletter. When you join our mailing list, you get a free ebook download as well as weekly resources, tips, insights, and some cool contests and giveaways as well. So don't miss out on that. There's a link on this page you can click to join the mailing list and that's all you have to do. So thank you so much again for stopping by and for all your support and I will see you all next time. Bye.